but the most sweetest thing of all is this view. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Right? Am I right? What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Gilly and this is the first let's play of uh, Space Engineers. So, we are starting off a whole new series if you guys like it. And uh, we're starting off on a star uh, system. There's three planets and their star systems and we've just spawned in the atmospheric lander. And unfortunately, we are on the dark side of the planet so that's uh, that's a bummer but I'm not gonna restart it because we're at the dark side now we're gonna be at the light side later the uh, if you're wondering all the settings of the world are on default however I have disabled uh, cyber hounds because they are they right now they are too overpowered they make life on Earth on atmospheric land completely on. It won't happen. It's it's like they make life on land so incredibly hard. So I think I see some of the sun coming up. Let's fly over there. We gotta find a nice area that we're gonna start our base on. And um, in the meantime, let's check out. Uh, where there must be some ores. Right now we are pretty high. Let's see, dampers off, dampers on. Right, let's aim forward a bit. We are going 100 meters per second. I am aiming for a lake, frozen lake-ish uh, base. And or, are you seeing what I'm seeing on the left side? Anyway, I'm, I'm aiming for that because it contains a lot of ice which can be turned into hydrogen and oxygen. I'm not really interested in the oxygen part but more into the hydrogen part because <coughs> they can be made in high... they can be uh, fueling hydrogen uh, thrusters. And um, I'll probably want to make some hydrogen bit based planes or ships or whatever you want to call them what are those dots what are those um, so we're on a very big hill now also the problem is with uh, atmospheric thrusters is the higher you get the less great they perform the less efficient they are so if we start our base on something high like this our thrusters will never be fully efficient and it will just be a waste so maybe I should head the other way no actually I just want to make it across this area let's keep it steady I think we're gonna head into the light soon let's make sure we don't hit anything like trees or anything the glass is all scratched up Right, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this Let's Plays. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue doing this. Uh, oh, we found Cobalt. Cobalt and Iron. I'm gonna head up. Oh, GPS. Gonna add new current position. I'm gonna make Cobalt and Iron. This is my technique. This is how when I hover over stuff, it's a bit inaccurate because we've passed the uh, scene, but. Uh, know where to find it look at this it's just beautiful I don't know what this green stuff is though but it is sweet right so we're hovering still now because of the inertia dampers but we're going to go uh, more forward and um, while we are going to our new awesome place where we're gonna put down our base we're gonna check out we're gonna keep an eye open for ores we're gonna keep it nice and steady but low as well so that we, our ore detector can do its work and we can um, uh, save the locations of where we find ores which will probably prove very useful I have done this uh, 
one time with a friend <clears throat> and we were looking for uranium and we found uranium problem was it was 120 meters deep into the ground there was no way for us to get there seems like uranium is very hard to get on on these type of planets I, I like to call them earth I think in my let's play I'm just going to call it earth because we all know it's earth you know but just because you don't want to say it's earth we say oh atmospheric planet oh boy there was a lot of nickel magnesium I'm just gonna head back take a second look at it oh crap that was not a good idea at all what I just did this this lander has two big thrusters that keep it keeps it up but it, it has very small thrusters to go forward and to bank so <laughs> that was not a good idea but we're still alive <coughs> see that the Sun where is the Sun we're gonna have to make some solar panels as well <coughs> there we go we got magnesium nickel oh it's all over the place and silicon all right great G GPS new from current position magnesium and what was that there was something else as well uh, nickel great All right, so we we did our scouting. Uh, we have iron, although it's pretty far. It's six kilometers. We we've taken note of these, but uh, doesn't mean that we're gonna get them. Our resources here, because this is doesn't seem like anywhere where I want to put our beautiful base down. Let's get a move on. I'm really looking for a lake kind of deal. Right, so what I was saying before I uh, got interrupted by the beautiful view, um, this is gonna be a let's play. I'm not really great at this game, I'm just gonna be honest. And, um, wow, what is that? Oh my god, that looks like Pac Man at some point. Wow, that is, what is that, people? Is that the moon? Or is it, it's, it kind of be an asteroid? It's very round. One day, guys, one day we're, we're gonna make a jet, or we're gonna make a rocket, and we're gonna go there. I think it's the moon. I think it's the moon. So, uh, let's see. We're gonna look for a valley somewhere. I think this is very hilly. Let's just keep on going forward. Right, so. For the third time, what I'm gonna do in this let's play, like I said, I'm not really great at this game. I played it before uh, Planets came out, and um, I wasn't really great at it that time. But when Planets came out, my PC was um, not strong enough, not fast enough to run this kind of stuff. Because this stuff, the whole Planets update, it is insane on the on the computer. But I got this new uh, processor that takes everything like a champ. I can even record, and uh, I have no lag. I sometimes have a small lag spike, but that's more uh, because of my uh, graphics card, which is uh, not great. But still, anyway, <coughs> um, like I was saying, I'm not gonna make a let's play series of this, but I'm not going to make a tutorial-ish how to make this, how to do this. No, I'm just going to play this game and record it and uh, what the... what the... let's just get out of here. Blah, that was weird. That was really weird. I think I see a lake over there. Yeah, so I... Like I was saying for the fourth time before I got interrupted by some hill that spawned into me. Uh, luckily we didn't get damaged. But um, I'm gonna fail in this game. I'm just gonna have fun. And I'm gonna try some stuff. And I'm gonna fail very hard. There's probably going to be some cutting. Uh, not a lot, but I'm gonna cut down the boring stuff. Like if it takes me 20 minutes to fly around to find a base, I'm probably gonna cut that out. 
because no one really wants to look at that. I think we found a nice area, guys. So let's keep our approach low so that we can detect any ores around the vicinity. There's magnesium, but it was pretty far. Let's see, let's head head on to this way. And um, I'm just gonna experiment a little. I'm gonna fail, like I said. And uh, it's just gonna have fun. I'm gonna make a definitely gonna make a rocket to go to that planet. And I'm gonna feel at it. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna feel, but I'm gonna record it, and it's gonna be fun. But uh, I'll probably respawn <laughs> at the med bay and uh, give it a second shot until it works, and I'm gonna do something something awesome. So this is gonna be our base, guys. This is this is the area. This looks great. When the sun comes there, I, I think it's gonna look super sweet. Now I'm gonna do this trick because this is a lander and it disappears as soon as you respawn or whatever it's not supposed to be there forever but I'm gonna make a small platform then I'm going to create a merge block and I'm just gonna merge it to the base so that it won't despawn and I'm gonna saw away the engines and still make it look nice obviously but the good thing about that is um, this, this thing has like five batteries I think four or five batteries and when you uh, use the grinder on them you don't get all the cells back it needs uh, the batteries need like uh, battery cells it's it's some it's a thing in the game it's a material kind or an item and uh, when you grind it up you get scrap metal a scrap plate or whatever it's called <coughs> which is a waste and then you have to set up. You can take the rest of the uh, of the items of the battery, but um, you have to set up the battery and you have to recharge it again. And there is a lot of charge in in the batteries in this ship because I uh, did uh, another run before this. I placed the battery, put some solar panels down, and it was so slow. Solar panels do not give a lot of energy. Now I am wondering because we have to put solar panels down and I'm worried about those hills. Are they going to block the sun too much? Alright, we got uranium. Oh my god, and it's 200 down. Why did I just tell you guys? This is worse even. 200 down. Let's take note of these. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Magnesium, silicon, and there was uranium right there. Okay. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that because how far is that? 17 kilometers, and the other one is 20. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna start over. And what is this? Silicon, uranium, magnesium. Silicon, magnesium, uranium, and uranium is something that I really want to get, and it's also the hardest right there. So we got that. We're nice and hovering. 28 days of hovering. Uh, let's see. Let's go around, see what's up. Let's go around the lake, and then we should hurry up because the sun is there. Sun, the way this uh, game was set up on default. The sun is there for two hours, and then it is two hours of darkness. Now, with this let's play, I don't want to play without you guys. I don't want to play without recording. So I'm going to try to record as much as possible. There's, do we have nickel? Which means that there's also going to be recordings in the dark. But if it doesn't look great, <clears throat> because dark playing in, in the dark, you know, if it doesn't look great on the video, then I'm not gonna do it too much. I'm just gonna wait it out or do some basic, boring stuff that no one wants to see anyway. So yeah, so right now we're scouting. We found our beautiful lake. We're scouting. 
or around for ores and uh, we've seen that our ship we have nickel our ship is uh, not feeling too great about scouting around because the batteries are finishing it is uh, just a lander but look at the view look at the lake the sun is coming up it's good to note right now from which side the sun is coming up so that we can place our uh, Actually, I think I'm going to place the solar panels flat. We can use a rotor and stuff, but um, it's gonna take a lot of uh, energy. There's cobalt. We have cobalt, right? It's gonna take a lot of resources and energy to make the robots. Oh, we did not have the cobalt yet. Crap, I'm going backwards. Let's keep it steady. Right. GPS, new from current position, cobalt. We just need iron. I really hope that we can find some iron. Also, the rocks that you see there, there's a rock in front. That is also something. Oh my god, we found iron. Awesome. Sorry, guys. There we go. I think this is. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. This is good stuff. All right, that's uh, like I just said the rock is something But iron wow, it is really deep guys All right, so uh, I'm not gonna write down the magnesium, but I'm gonna write down the iron cobalt. We got that right? Oh, Cobalt I just wrote that down. I'm just gonna put Iron there we go but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make them disappear from the HUD because I don't want my HUD clogging up. When I'm looking for ores, that's when I'll enable them. I think this is a great area to do the base. Not connected to the land. Maybe we can do a base like on the hill over there. That would be super sweet. Like having a lookout over the lake from up there. That is a great place to do it. I think we're gonna do that. So let's just go up. However, the lake is pretty awesome too. That area right there where I'm looking at, it looks pretty great. Hmm. Could probably make something sweet. I think a uh, lake could be a harder to travel. No, let's just go up. Let's just have a nice view over the lake. It's gonna be awesome. So we've got our uh, scouting done got our uh, landing or base area done and this is gonna be have some easier access than down the hill doesn't really matter so much but we're gonna make a base over here gonna look at super make it look super sweet ship fuel is low we're gonna put the ship right here for now there we go it, what what happened? Did I touch down with one foot? Wow, I did not know that. It just auto-locked. It just locked on itself. Okay, well, it's fine with me. Okay, so auto-lock was on. That's great. I wonder, though, because I want to... Uh, shut down the ship <laughs> and I don't want the uh, the ship to lose uh, the lock so it tips over I don't want it to tip over let's check this out please locate a sort of ice hey we have a lot of ice right there so we did that survey for ores yes so find a suitable base yes avoid pirate facilities I did not disable pirates so we might have some trouble with them later, but uh, add some excitement to the game, so I'm cool with it. Build solar panels, construct suitable base, add additional refineries. We're gonna do all that. And um, I think we'll add some defense to our base, like a missile and turret system. Just cause, but we're not gonna make a combat craft right away. So let's check out what's going on downstairs. We have... Uh, this container contains enough for six solar panels, two batteries, and a flight seat. That is great because we're gonna. Oxygen is low. What do you mean? Oxygen is low. We're on Earth.
All right. Hmm, the fresh air. So great. Ah. Oh. All right, let's see what we got. I also, like I said, I disabled the hounds. Right, I, I'm going to disable the uh, engines as well. Practically shutting down the whole ship. Everything is offline. Don't need that right now. Look at that, so scary. Was that like the Pac-Man moon? There's the sun. Looks great. So this is the area, right, where we're going to do stuff. So I'm going to uh, put down a station. I have nothing in my inventory. That is stupid. We're gonna lead for now. We just need a lot of iron plates. Uh, I mean steel plates. I don't think I'm need my gun. I don't think I want to drill. I don't. I think I need a rifle, I just need some plates. There we go. And um, hydrogen using the jetpack finishes so fast. For real. Wow, this is like snow. It doesn't leave footprints though. Right, so uh, let me just get my jetpack real fast. Yes, this is gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. All right, let's go back fast before the hydrogen finishes. However, I want this bush to be gone because it's in the way. Let's add a station right here. I don't really care how the rotation is done. In fact, let me just put it like this. There. So now we're going to add, uh, let's see, a light armor block. We're gonna add the uh, yeah, let's make it a big stationy ish So, finally we have started constructing our station, our base. This is going to be a small base, but it's going to be an awesome base. on a sweet location. Wondering if I should probably make it sound a bit wider. It would be nice if we have a base, then we... Oh, that was close. Add some glass to uh, check out the view. That's gonna be awesome, right? And in below we can make pillars, but we can also keep this area, close it up and have our uh, assemblers and refineries going on there our batteries or uh, a little stair room you know I think that's gonna be awesome but for now I'm gonna close it up like this see if I can there we go it doesn't really need it but um, it's gonna have it looks great for support and whatnot you know we don't have to uh, weld all of this right now but I'm going to do that. But like I said, I'm going to be doing some cutting. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. Alright guys, so I uh, ran out of um, 
steel plates, so I ran back to the ship to get the rest of them, which I also used, so I do not have any steel plates anymore. We finished uh, most of this part, did not finish the poles though, but this is all good, doesn't matter. So right now, uh, I want to see what it takes to get a merge block. Um, merge block, there we go. Let's see, we can harvest this stuff from the uh, from the ship, the rest that we need. We need computer. I don't think they're that expensive, to be honest. Um, however, I don't know how to... I have never used something like this. And why doesn't it want to... Alright, because I don't have the components. Steel plate. Great. Um, I wonder... I'm going to remove the feet of the station and I'm probably going to remove one of the engines it doesn't need all engines to uh, to 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 fly you know so I'm going to remove one of the feet one of the landing gears or whatever you call them which also has a lot of steel plates why didn't I think about that that's one These ones, I'll keep them. Um, I think... I haven't really thought about how I'm going to merge it. But I will remove the ore detector. And maybe... I will just add the merge block instead of the ore detector. See, there are al already batteries there. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut up, shut, uh, turn on the ship, go to the area where we're going to uh, merge it. I'm going to shut down. Hello, we're back online. I'm going to shut down the, uh, the assembler because it takes a lot of energy. And I'm going to shut down the uh, oxygen generator. I don't really need that. Oxygen tank. It's... 100% filled, so that's great. Programmable block. I don't. Is any, anything? There's nothing running in here. So, don't need it. Refinery, do not need it. Uh, timer block. What are you? What are you doing? You're doing anything? I don't know what it's doing. So shut off. There we go. So, how much energy? Look at our fuel time. Great, right? And we've added a little bit of it. A little bit fuel time. Oh, I need to... Oh, I thought I, w I need to reset my controls because it's weird. But I was looking the other way. Awesome. So, I'm going to keep it nice and steady over here. We've got a lot of hover time, so that's cool. Let's keep it nice and... Uh, wow, the lander is way too big for this stuff. Alright, let's keep it down. Right, now it's gonna hover. And it's gonna hover greatly. I wonder, if I jump into one of those things, does it hurt? I'm not gonna try it out. Not yet. Oh, this was not the greatest idea. Let me get some hydrogen first. In fact, what does it matter? I can just drill my way out. All right, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna remove the feet. Cannot reach it. Great. Um, these things. I think I'm gonna merge it right here. First, I want to remove this. This is gonna go great, guys. It's the first time I'm doing this. The whole merging thing. But I think it's going great. I'm 
I'm gonna have to uh, empty my inventory though. Because it's getting quite full. There we go. Let's get ourselves some more energy, some more hydrogen. Alright, what oh, I disabled the uh, the hydrogen tank or whatever. In fact, I know that there is probably some tanks in here. Let me just get both of them. And it should refill my hydrogen. It will refill. Hopefully. Oops. Yeah, it refilled. All right. Okay, so I guess right now we're gonna remove these. They are spinning though. Look at how close to the ground I parked them. Maybe I just touched it. Like I couldn't go down anymore. No, I did not. Look. There is a minimum amount of space right there. That is some epic par parking. Okay. Um, I think I should turn this thing around. I think I will turn it around. Because then the door is on the right side. And the uh, the outlook is on the gr no actually I like this because yeah no I like this this is great this is awesome I'm gonna keep it right like this I'm gonna remove the door though but yeah that's for later let's add the merge block oh falling so let's add it uh, in here we need one Number two. Or removed if you spawn a new one. Well, joke's on you. There. We need construction component, motor, steel tube, large steel tube, computer. We need a lot. That I'm not gonna remember. So I'm just gonna grab a lot of stuff. Large steel tube, gonna grab 10 of them. We need a lot of those. Steel plates, motor. Do we need those? I don't think so. Computer, we need a lot. Uh, we needed a lot more. We need small steel tubes. There's conveyor tube. I like the conveyors though. I like the whole setup, but I'm gonna remove what's in here though. I don't need this computer. Can probably remove that. There was a timer block, is that it? It looks disabled. Battery. Look at the battery, it has almost 2 megawatts, just this one. And if you set up a new battery, you fill it a whole day with, with solar energy, you won't even get near half a megawatt. Right, this is a assembler, kinda need all that stuff. Right, let's see how far we've got. We need to make two of them, imagine. Oh, crap, my hydrogen. Oh no, wait, I have the bottles. No way, no problem. I just need small steel tube. Hey, can we can we like make them? With our, we have a refinery and stuff, right? We can like make small steel tube. What do we need? Iron ingot. We don't have iron. Don't have a recycler or anything. All right. So what has small steel tube? We're gonna have to destroy something. Finery has a conveyor. Conveyor has twenty. It's connected to a air vent, which we're not gonna need, and a nuclear reactor. Which it's only conveyed so that it can transfer the. Uh, I think. No, it's also connected to the oxygen tank. No, that one is connected to the generator, which is connected to the 
conveyor which is connected to that and to, is connected to the air vent which gives oxygen it all makes sense now but yeah I'm gonna remove you anyway right so I hope we don't need a lot of those Nope, we just needed six. That's pretty sweet. So, um, gotta add another one. Look at the feet. Gonna remove the feet as well. Bye bye. There's another feet right there. Oh my god. I keep on saying feet, because let's be honest, they look like feet, but they are actually landing gear. All right, um, let's see. Add another one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna add it here. I'm gonna move the ship up a little bit. Ooh, don't get into the engines. I don't even know if it hurts or not. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Um, I'm gonna add. Yeah, this is good, so I can have more space to add the merge block. First, I'm gonna add. Sorry, guys, but I'm gonna add one more of these. Because then I can just add the merge block in the middle, and it just looks like nice in the middle and everything. Gonna remove this. There we go. Don't roll down. like the thruster was pushing me away right another merge block uh, one, two, three, two, now this is this is half yeah is this the facing the right way no there we go so welding time wow we got everything that's great You know, we can make it more seamlessly. And this is gonna be a challenge, but we can do it. It's gonna get really hard, but it should be possible. It will be possible. You just gotta believe in yourself. Now that I look at it, maybe I can remove the first layer. No, maybe I could. What's on the f What's on the first layer? Really, nothing. No, I'm just gonna do it like this, and this is gonna work. Right. So what we have to do, we have to align this thing perfectly with that one. Then I think later we can remove the bottom thrusters, and we can put the whole thing down. Nice. Yeah. That's a good idea. It's not that bad. Come on, get in. It's so hard to, to steal this stuff. So, let's get back in control. It's not gonna remove it anytime soon. Let's see, we need to go to the right a little bit. It's so hard to see. And uh, more to the right. Backwards. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Where is that thing actually? I think it's. I think it's right here. 
And that's where it is. There, now we have a good look how stuff are. Not quite, we need to go back a bit. Whoops. Got stuck between the engines. What? No, wrong button. Alright, back a little bit. Back. This is like precision work. Alright, I think we're just gonna do it. Last check. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it should be good. It should be good. It should be perfect or whatever. So, yeah, right now let's remove these ones. Let me fill in my uh, inventory before I drop stuff on the ground. Two more to go. There's no movement in this thing anymore. You cannot move it around. It can only go down. So the last thruster. And then we're gonna merge it. How do you merge them? Do you have to like activate them or something? There we go guys. We can slowly, slowly, slowly take it slowly. There we go. It's quite exciting, isn't it? And these thrusters are like perfectly... Ah, uh, yeah. Oh boy, it doesn't want to go down. It wants to go up? <sighs> oh, okay, it wants to go down. I was joking. Is everything going great? Yeah. No, it doesn't want to go down anymore. It's like added max down or something. It, it just doesn't wants to go up doesn't want to go down oh now it wants oh boy we did something did we merge it I think it got merged yep it got merged <laughs> something weird happened but it got merged awesome guys look at what we did this is super sweet yeah we merged it nice Yeah, it's one. It's one now. I I tried to pull up the whole building and it wouldn't work. Guys, that is so sweet. So we've got our base down right now. I know, it, I, it's a bit weird. Maybe we can make like a stairway kind of deal over here. Yeah, that would be sweet. Like the the. But guys, the most sweetest thing of all I think I'm gonna add the door here but the most sweetest thing of all is this view I mean isn't that beautiful right am I right I know I'm right so we can we can saw up these things we can do all that things but I'm gonna do that in the next let's play we can even remove these engines we don't need them anymore and the best thing of all we can now just store everything in here. We can keep all those things. We can remove the refineries if we want. We can put them down. We can put them in there. We have a lot of materials. We have a lot. The What is this? Oh, it's the merge block. I don't know what to do with them. I'm just going to keep it like that because uh, I don't want to break anything or undo anything. But we have lost zero energy. We don't have to build new uh, batteries. We can. We have we have battery material in there, and we even have uh, solar panel materials. So we're gonna add those later on in the next let's play. We're gonna remove all that. Wow! I didn't know it had a sky roof. That's sweet. 
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my Let's Play. Thanks for watching me play this game. And um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like what we put down right here. Uh, I hope you like where this is going. And um, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe because then we will see all these videos in your little subscribe box on YouTube. So for now, I'm Mr. Gilly. You can call me Gilly if you want. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.